finally with this, the crystal skull is mine. Carefully, carefully. Aha! No, 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 no! Crystal skulls, what are they? An ancient artifact? Mayan treasure? An elaborate hoax? A means to sell vodka? Or a 36,000 year old plan to destroy the Indiana Jones franchise? Well, to find out, we need to travel back to the finding of the first skulls. The crystal skulls are said to have been part of a number of Native American oral traditions. In fact, many people believe that there are 13 of these skulls and that they hold mystical power. Stories about the skulls focus heavily on their perceived supernatural powers. Joshua Shapario, co-authors of The Mysteries of the Crystal Skulls Revealed, cites claims of healings and expanded psychic abilities from people who have been in the presence of these crystal skulls. Shapario says, We believe the crystal skulls are a form of computer which are able to record energy and vibrations that occur around them. The skulls will pictorially replay all events or images of the people who have come into contact with them, meaning that they contain the history of the world. Now, of course, most archaeologists and scientists are sceptical, to say the least. But Dan Aykroyd definitely is not. And he's even created a vodka based in the things. But away from selling vodka, is there any truth to the claims about the skulls? Well, the theme of skulls was prominent in Mesoamerican artwork, particularly among the Aztecs. So the connection between these artifacts and these civilizations is actually quite fitting. But the issue is, is that there's no real historic evidence of the creation or use of the crystal skulls. The skulls, to most people's knowledge, appeared first in the 1800s. And according to the British Museum, the first one was supposedly discovered by the Spanish in Mexico. It, along with two other skulls, made it into the hands of a Frenchman called Eugene Boban, who attempted to sell them several times. Interestingly, at the time, Boban attempted to sell one of the skulls to the museum back in Mexico, but they were not interested. Eventually, two of these three skulls made it into the hands of collectors who donated them to the British Museum and to the Museum of Humanity in France. When they acquired the skulls, the museums naturally made inquiries to the skulls' backgrounds and discovered that they were made with crystals sourced from Madagascar or Brazil, both of which would of course be almost impossible for the Aztecs or Mayans to acquire. Experts were also quite suspicious of the fact that someone could acquire three of these so-called priceless artifacts so easily and this led to inquiries into archaeological digs from the region, which of course showed that no crystal skulls or anything directly relating to them were ever found. At least, not on record. When further examining the skulls, marks left by modern era drills and other jewelling equipment were found, further adding to the suspicion that the skulls were a hoax and likely made by Europeans, possibly by Germans. Thus, most experts conclude that the skulls were nothing but a hoax, at least as far as their Mesoamerican heritage. The skulls were likely a scam in the 1800s, at a time when rich people were buying historic artifacts at an alarming rate, and of course there was a massive amount of money to be made. The skulls were also quite possibly a way to become famous, but we will see that next time. Well, what do you think of the crystal skulls? Do you believe the experts? Or do you think that they're up to 36,000 years old, as some suggest? Well, leave your comments below. 
and make sure to check back for part two, where we will look at the most famous crystal skull. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to share it to sites like Reddit and Facebook. If you want to support the show, then why not click on Patreon?